Okay, look, I, I know enough of y'all do the whole baby making at the house. Can we also do the gender reveal thing at the house, too? You don't have to go out to some random park and think, oh, it's not my property, not my problem. No, you're still a douche. At least this time, you didn't use explosives. Seriously, it's dumb dums like this that are the reason every time I see something regarding a large fire, I automatically think gender reveal. Like, friends have sent me photos of, like, wildfires out in Colorado, and then my first thought that I send them as a message is, like, is it a boy? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into the lovely dumpster fire known as Arzlej, I am a total POS, and if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this one in the near future, cause that garbage pile ain't getting smaller anytime soon, and be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications, okily dogly leg out. Also as a side note, I'm recording this the day after Otakon, so you know, if you happen to have gone, I hope you guys had a great time. Room should be opening up in like noon today so i'm going to be working on getting room that's connected to the con so i actually can buy more stuff in the dealer's room and if i happen to run into anybody next year that would be awesome just hi next stop on my con list will be magfest so you know see you there hi everyone i just noticed on my walk home that someone has left a goldfish in a tub on the street saying free fish to take the tub too give them a good home i can't take them but can anyone else take them before a frosty night tonight Wolverhampton Street, this location. For anybody not knowing, because of Australia being on the Southern Hemisphere, our summer is their winter, so this is actually a very recent post. And just straight up, do not abandon pets whatsoever, especially in instances where you're pretty much going to guarantee to kill them. The only instance where water can freeze over and goldfish or koi can still be alive is if the water is deep enough where the ice doesn't go all the way down. Usually that limit is like three feet. And I'm in no way, shape, or form supporting anybody that just thinks that they can abandon a pet because they don't want it. I don't like you whatsoever, and honestly, I imagine if people treated you like that. It's not cool. Like nationality, it's Indian. Indian? No way. <laughs> uh, why? You're too handsome for being Indian. I just don't don't like them at all. Accent plus, maybe I used to see Taxi Driver. I wouldn't imagine that there is someone handsome can be. So let me see if I got this straight. You found a person attractive, but as soon as you found out that they were Indian, you automatically thought that they weren't attractive and automatically assumed that they would have the accent plus they would also be a taxi driver. You know, ain't that called profiling or something? When my husband told me to shush during labor, I knew our marriage was over. Women have been sharing the moment they decide to walk away from their marriage, with one recounting the time her partner told her to be quiet as she was giving birth. Look, I don't even have that same equipment, and I know for the fact that is not something that you can just keep quiet on. Like, what part of I have a whole human being exiting my body, let's use our indoor voices, yeah, no, you're, what do you think you're gonna do, wake up the baby? Some of these just are st straight up stupid kind of confusing, and it, it kind of, it's the thing that makes people hit themselves in confusion, like Pokemon. The only use of the car phone holder on the road I'm familiar with is watching a movie. Uh, yeah, hey, dum-dum, how about the, when you run the person over that you're going to run over because you can't look at the road without having to look at your phone at the same time because, God forbid, you want to watch an episode of SVU? Uh, yeah, just, uh, make sure you tell them no spoilers, because you don't want them to actually do anything that's bad for you. Like, you know, spoil your episode for you, huh? I don't know how addicted to a show you gotta be where you think that is perfectly fine to watch it while you're driving, and I didn't even think that there were examples of that, but yet here we are. Puppy left in a car with a mouth tape shut while a man gambled, Las Vegas police say. There was actually a video with this, but I'm fairly certain I can't show the video just because it's like animal endangerment or something like that. Uh, yeah, no, the, uh, this was a husky, a winter dog in 108 degree weather in Las frickin' Vegas. And I don't know where this person's thought process was, but it very much wasn't in his head because, like, if you were going to take your dog out, and you plan on going to places where your dog is not allowed, you kind of have to factor in both of those at the same time. It's like, oh, I can't take my dog into a grocery store that's not a service dog. Yeah, no, you're not going to the grocery store then, dude. It really does suck that there are countless compilations even of this kind of stuff, and I absolutely hate people for this. If, if they're charged with this kind of stuff, then they shouldn't be allowed to have pets. Like, I really wish that a lot of places would implement the same thing that I do at my place. We can refuse pet sales if we are fairly certain that 
animals are going to be put into a bad environment, like if you take a whole parrot and put it in a little travel cage, something like that. Or the one that's the most common is that my store sells like mice and rats, and we aren't allowed to sell them as feeder. So if we know for a fact that somebody is likely going, like if somebody jokes, oh, you won't be getting it back, yeah, no, you're not getting the animal then. If you on purposely plan to do anything that's going to hurt an animal, I very much hope that you never get to have an animal. Air passengers are using a TikTok travel hack where they pretend to need a wheelchair in an attempt to skip lines, airport CEO claims. You know, the more I see stuff like this, the more I automatically think that whenever I'm discussing anybody with something and they said that, hey, I learned this thing from this tick, yeah, or when you say tick and TikTok, I'm already zoned out at that point, because that's the same app that made the whole Tide Pod and basically any internet challenge where you have physical violence going on a definite thing. There's a whole lot of things from TikTok that shouldn't be things, but because TikTok algorithm and everything and promoting all that, it does apparently, unfortunately, become a thing, and I'm not liking this. This is why I need to collect those stones so I can get rid of all the dum-dums in the universe. If you do something stupid, and if you do something for clicks because ha ha he he it's funny even if at somebody else's expense, well you know what, uh, yeah, you know, you're getting a little snappy snap too. Common sense should not have had to die for the internet to succeed. Okay, so for context, the dude's car broke down, he didn't have anything in the vehicle that was worth value, so he figured he would just leave the door unlocked and still came back to a busted window. This just goes to show that there are some people that just exist because they want to make other people's lives horrible. This horrible person stole approximately $461,000 that was intended for over 107 youth in his care. A fraudulent social worker was sentenced to five years in prison following a lengthy trial in this Supreme Court. While working at this family development as a social worker, this person stole approximately $461,000 that was intended for over 107 youth in his care, said Justice Blank. The perpetrator pled guilty to three charges of fraud, breach of trust, and using forged documents. The vulnerability of the youth in his care is an aggravating factor, said this person. Blank targeted indigenous youth under the care of the state for fraudulent activity. While he was enjoying the spoils of his scheme, his youth was struggling, said this person. As a youth guardianship worker, this person created 24 joint bank accounts with the youth to which he would deposit funds intended for the youth. He would then transfer the funds to his bank account. Blank would then create additional paperwork to make it look like the youth were receiving the checks. Yeah, you know, because nothing says I like the kids, I support the kids, much like, uh, you know, I'm taking money from the kids, don't worry, making it look like it's all professional and everything, you are going to get ripped in present, I can just guarantee it. Like, hey man, what are you in for? I stole money from kids. Yeah, well... Yeah, no, you're gonna get, you're gonna learn about the totem pole. I mean, you're not far from the bottom, but you're not at the bottom, but you're also still not far from the bottom, dude. I think it's just a general rule that a lot of criminals do when criminaling, and uh, it's the general whole uh, keep kids out of all of your things kind of rule. Ah, uh, yes, well, you look at that. The moral reset button brigade is back at it again. Here's the thing. If you're gonna try to vandalize something, could you at least spell Genesis correctly? Jesus Christ. I mean, all seriousness, like, seriously, if you're gonna be a douchebag, can you at least be literate with your douchebagginess? Stuff like this is why a lot of people don't go to church because they don't want to be around the lovely crowd that thinks it's perfectly fine to do this. If anybody can help me find out exactly what part of love thy neighbor is difficult to these dum-dums. Like, I honestly did not know that respecting and loving your human being for existing, your fellow human being, was a freaking hard thing to do to some people. Gotta love Miami charter boats. Let's throw a party. Pop every single balloon on the bow of the boat just right into the water. It just goes to show there's another wonderful, unfortunate example of how you can have a bunch of money and that don't mean you have any bit of morals whatsoever. Stuff like this is very much why I like in other countries where they have this thing where instead of it being a fixed rate where the people who have all of the money that they can just throw away can just pay to break the law are actually instead charged a percentage of their income as the fine. Like, it counteracts the whole thing of how much $100 is worth to somebody who gets a $200 paycheck a month versus somebody who makes $10,000 per month. And I'm very much hoping that that type of policy was implemented for these lovely people who are just killing sea turtles and with no care in the world. I do not like you in any way, shape, or form. I very much like the turtles. And you guys wonder why you can't find any of these in the store? God forbid, yo. This is like the second time this week this kid's been here.
You know, the real kicker to this is that I'm recording this a solid year and a half after the console's release, and they're still as hard to get as they were when this video re was recorded a solid or more than a year ago. And I'm just now realizing how bad it's been for the people that want to get the nice looking shoes. It's just as bad, and it's been like that for a long, long time, and it really does suck. Now, I have noticed over time that, yes, it, the prices do tend to start going down, but it's at an ever so slow pace that I honestly feel like we'll still have people price gouging game consoles and let alone shoes that's definitely sticking around for years on end and i really wish that on sites where they have the consoles for sale if their systems do notice that people are buying multiples and i mean like five or six consoles all at once there should be a policy that says that they're not allowed to return it because really the only way you're buying five ten or fifteen consoles all at once is if you got a bot that can do it the absolute millisecond that it becomes available and i've seen a lot of these bots in action it took me a really long time for me to get my ps5 and i just I detest anybody that has these bots set up. <laughs> oh, hey, dude, since you seem to be a professional at it, could you elaborate on the conversion method of internet points to uh, being fined by the legal system? Imagine thinking you want to be cool on the internet for 15 seconds and then you spend a year and a half behind bars because of it. Why do we have the weird feeling that's happened multiple times before? But with that last example of why Trojan is a wonderful idea to wrap it up sometimes, that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.